Irrelevant Sussex once again become best joke on air for being excluded from two glitzy US events. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not the power couple they thought a royal author has said after the couple were not on the guest list for two glitzy American events. During their time together the couple had been involved in the acting world, the royal world, and the philanthropy circuit and appeared to be making the A-list inner circle their next target. However, Selay Ottens, co-author of Royal Fever, the British monarchy and consumer culture claims the couple aren't relevant to the social circles they may have been pursuing after quitting royal duties. The professor of marketing who specializes in how the royal family brands themselves claims there were two telling moments that signified their lack of relevance. One of which was the 60th birthday bash for former U.S. President Barack Obama which was held last summer. The other was the 94th Academy Awards ceremony which she claims would have been Meghan's deal owing to her career as an actress. Ms. Ottens told Express.co.uk, they're not really the power couple they thought. I think there are two telling moments for that, one they weren't invited to Barack Obama's 60th birthday party, that huge thing had in Massachusetts. And two, I don't believe they were invited to the Academy Awards, which for Meghan would be her, you know, deal. So they're really, for the circles they want to be in, and I don't think they're that relevant. The former president's birthday bash took place in August last year, and hundreds of former Obama administration officials, celebrities and Democratic donors were all on the guest list. Celebrity couples including Chrissy Teigen and John Legend were photographed arriving ahead of the party at the family's Martha's Vineyard property. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini wrote in the Telegraph at the time it was thought that the newly California-based couple would be shoe-ins at Obama's 60th, as prominent progressives and newfound members of the U.S. metropolitan liberal elite. However, the couple was not pictured among those attending. Speculation arose about whether they were invited or not after the guest list was scaled back amid a surge in COVID-19 cases caused by the Delta variant. While the Obamas may have invited them, it is entirely possible the couple may have declined the invitation after they weren't pictured at the event. However royal biographer Angela Levin told The Sun, Harry and Meghan were never even on the original list. The couple were also not among those attending the Oscars when the ceremony took place in March. At the time, the Daily Beast said their appearance at the Oscars would give their critics ammunition to say that they are choosing Hollywood glam over family responsibilities. The couple also failed to get an invite to the Beckham wedding where Brooklyn Beckham tied the knot with Nicola Peltz in LA on April 9. Heat World quotes a source as saying, to be honest, they've failed to break into any Hollywood circles. They had hoped to become part of the elite with friends such as, the Obamas and the Cloanies, but they can't seem to get a foot in the door. There's a reason you're not seeing them front and center at Hollywood dinners and events, and it's not by choice. They thought the invites would come thick and fast when they moved to California, but the truth is, they've ended up being quite isolated. Meanwhile, royal fans have been rudely slamming Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming Netflix documentary series following rumors it could be releasing as soon as this year. The comments come after Express.co.uk ran a poll asking, will you watch Meghan and Harry's reality series? Out of the 13,907 people who voted, 98%, 13,635 people, said they would not be tuning in. One royal fan said, I won't watch anything that they star in, anything they produce or anything they promote. Another wrote, the only people who are going to find them remotely interesting are the same sort of people who think the Kardashians are worth keeping up with. I cancelled my Netflix subscription, in protest of Harry and Meghan. I would rather watch paint dry, said another.